D2 The Mighty Ducks is the second Disney Mighty Ducks film. This was released in 1994. It's directed by Sam Wiseman, written by Stephen Brill, and of course it stars Emilio Estevez as Gordon Bombay. And I didn't mind this film. I don't think it was as interesting as the first film. But I feel like for me that's partly because I don't care about hockey. But I still enjoyed the first film, so it's not that I couldn't enjoy it. I just feel like it maybe wasn't as interesting to me as somebody who's looking for other aspects of the film. And I won't go into any spoiler detail because I do recommend it if you liked the first film. But I definitely don't think it's quite as good. Is that a surprise? Not really. Sequels are very rarely as good as the first film. Sometimes it happens. But for me, that's not quite the case here. So if you didn't like the first film, I doubt this one would be worth watching. Gordon is... Coaching, we get, we get a good backstory for Gordon and, and where his life has been since the previous film. And I won't go into too much detail, but he's now coaching the Ducks to try and win the Junior Goodwill Games. And there is a lot of hockey terminology in this film. I feel like more than the previous film. And I think that's maybe one of the reasons why I didn't like it quite as much. Because it is, it's very heavily focused on the actual games themselves not as much on the characters and their personal journeys we do get that we absolutely do get that but not as much as the first film so if you watched the first film and thought well there's not enough hockey in this or the language isn't what I'm looking for this might appeal or meet your expectations a little bit more but as I said we do get obviously some character development we have some really nice discussions between Gordon and some of the some of the ducks and I think those are very well written. They add an element of emotion to it that I think was really nice and, and really enjoyable as well. The narrative itself is well structured. The pacing is really good. It's a little longer than I think it needs to be. It's about an hour and 45. And I feel like we could have wrapped it up in an hour and a half after plucking out a few bits here and there. But it's not too long. It didn't feel like it was dragging or anything. There are just definitely some scenes that could have either been removed or neatened up a little bit. But in general, no real issues with the pacing. The characters are really likeable. We do have some of the ducks from the previous film returning, which obviously works really well. And of course, we have Emilio Estevez again. So it's not a bad sequel. It's not amazing. I didn't love every second of it. And for me, as somebody who doesn't care about hockey, there was a bit... Well, I was going to say there's a bit too much hockey in it. I think there's a sufficient amount of hockey for the film. But if, like me, you're watching it as somebody who doesn't care about hockey, but you're looking for some interesting characters and a nice narrative, there's enough of that there. But it feels a lot more focused on the winning of the games themselves than the first film did. But it's not a fault of the film. Absolutely not. In fact, it probably worked in the film's favour. There is a third film. I will watch it at some point when I get there chronologically. I am watching Disney's feature films in order. Am I looking forward to it? I'm not not looking forward to it, but I'm not excited about it. But I will go in with an open mind. I will see what it's like. I've not read any reviews. I have no idea how well it's received. This one seems to be received pretty well. According to IMDb, it has 6.1 out of 10 across 43,000 reviews and ratings, which is not too bad at all. So. For a sequel as well, that's not a bad rating. For me personally, I didn't love it, but in general, it seems to tick all of the right boxes. And if you liked the first film, I'd say the second one is probably worth watching. <laughs>